What is up, Sucker Squad? Welcome back to another video. I am back out here at Liberty Station with James right here, and we got Kenneth right over there. And we're gonna be fishing San Diego Bay, Liberty Station. We're gonna be starting off this morning with some top water, move our way down to soft plastics, maybe some irons, maybe some spins. We don't know, but we are fishing the outgoing tide, incoming tide. It is extremely low right now. It is at, what, zero feet, 0.1 feet, something like that. You know what, let me check for you guys. You guys always ask what app I'm using. The app I am using is called US Tide. There you go. That's what we're fishing right now. The app is US Tide, just in case you guys are wondering what app I'm using. Liberty Station, top water. Don't know what to expect. Big or small, maybe get a top water mackerel, top water smelt, top water corvina. I don't know, maybe a spotty, but we're just gonna be out here getting our lines wet and hopefully not get wet because we just had this nasty storm come in in San Diego this past week. It was extremely wet, roads were bad, the driving was bad, the drivers were bad and uh, it was just bad out here all around. But we got another you know, crazy storm coming in this week, so I'm gonna try to get out here, get my lines wet, get some dope content for you guys before the storm comes. Let's get this morning started. So yeah, let's go. All right, so we're gonna walk across that bridge once again, but we are not going to the left side like we did um, the other day. We're gonna be going to the right side, the Spanish side, I believe, yeah. And, uh, chuck some top water there, see what's popping. Damn, the tide's low. Go away. <laughs> He's like, wait, it's not a fish. Smart one. I'll switch it up to the jerk bait while these guys work the top. Were you getting bit here last time? Were you throwing away out there, huh? Might be a soft plastic kind of morning, guys. Think so? Soft plastic morning, huh? There we go. Oh! <laughs> you saw that? Yeah, I did. Dude, he smashed it hard, bro. Dude, he was on for like 0.22221 <laughs> two, two, <laughs> second. Oh my God. I was like, in my head, too, I was like, I usually get bit just messing around doing this. The next thing he was like, I couldn't go down. Oh hell no, mother sucker. Get your booty back here. They was doing this, <laughs> right? Just looking around and next thing you know, it was like, wait, I can't pull it out. I can't pop it. Fish this creek. Oh, smells like booty. Oh, got on my socks. That's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah, this tide's low, guys.
Good one? Need help? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Hell of it? Yep. There you go. Damn, see this is what I get for not standing on the mud. How'd I get down there? Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely not 35 inches, but it's good. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, first one of the year. First holiday of the year? <laughs> yeah. On the on the grub. Oh yeah, the major cut grub. Nice. What color are you throwing? Pink. Pink. Pink's the ticket. And the release. You just throw him in upside down. <laughs> but he went right side up. <laughs> there he is right there. You see him? I'm gonna catch him. <laughs> Do it. Last one. Hands me. I've bit three times. Three hits. Oh, right there. I got bit again. He's on it. No. There you go. Oh, now you guys have my spot, huh? I was getting bit like crazy. Couldn't even land a fish to save my life. That's a hit. Dude, they're just hitting it when it's on a dead stick. They're not picking it up. I saw that, but I can't get out that far. Not with a seven gram. Maybe on my bulky. There you go. Oh, a beef is jumping on my line. Look at that. Get in the puddle. Yes. Finally. All right, time to go. Double. Ken's on. I'm going to grab. He's posted right there. Oh, there he goes. That's so cool. It's drizzling, huh? There we go. Dig it into the grass. Feels pretty good. It's a big old bass. <laughs> right in the puddle. Dude, it's pretty big. <laughs> Alright, chill, chill, chill. Dude, he's pretty big. The puddle of doom. My shoe. <laughs> it's not bad at all. He's pretty big. I thought it was a Corvina coming up. You got shit all over your face, bro. Me? Yeah, you got like shit on your face. 
Not anymore. Oh wait, it was just your face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There was a, there was actual oh, shit. Right. Yeah. No, because I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get wet out here, but check this out. This guy's about 12, 13 on the pink grub. The second fish of the day. Oh man, he's a fatty. Look at that. Good one. I really thought it was gonna be something else because the way he was fighting, but that's what I get for fighting him in shallow water. But my goodness, the rain is, it's, it's, it's coming. Just let him go. And off he swims. Peace. All right, I'm going to give it a little bit more until, it, when it's, if it starts coming down hard, then uh, that's going to be it for a while. Super shallow over here to my right. It took me literally an hour and 20 minutes to get two fish. But hey, it's part of the game. I don't know if I'm over you, but probably am. Oh, no, oh, I came off, dang. Good Damn it. Losing fish all morning. There's a fish right there. Oh, he hit it. Something hit it. Something picked up. There we go. Nice. Dude, I don't like all that one. There's a fish right there. Oh, get it. Get it up. There we go. There's another good one. <laughs> well, not that good. Oh, double in the raid. There you go. Numero dos. Tangled up. It's wrapped. There Baby he goes. Guy. Little guy. Double up. Me and James right there. There he is. Right in, that, right in that puddle. And off he goes. All right. The rain's getting a little heavy. It's getting a little heavy. Oh. Dude, that was a hard hit. <laughs> that was a hella hard hit. Dude, the way you hit it, you hurt my rod? Yeah. That was crazy. Damn, for a little guy, you got hard, homie. Right when the rain comes out, y'all come out to play with the storm, huh? There you go. Oh, shit, this rain's coming down. If this is a waterproof GoPro with a microphone that is very, very good, I would uh, consider. But guess what? Ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, oh man, it was it was an interesting morning guys, let me tell you. Man, it started off slow for me, but for James and Ken, Ken <laughs> did pretty well. Ken got the first fish actually and I lost one on the jerk bait, the Kalisa minnow. But yeah, it is what it is. I'm definitely gonna try to throw that bait again next time. It's, it's a jerk bait. I'll you know debut it in one of my videos sometime soon. If you guys want to see a video on the Kalisa jerk bait, I believe it's called the Minnow 110 or the Minnow 100. I don't know. But if you guys want to see that drop a comment below be sure to give me a thumbs up today was uh very very interesting we just had to figure out the bite we started off with top water jerk bait and it all died down to throwing the grub and as always the grub seems to come in clutch or any kind of small swim bait any small soft plastic of any form any color really but you know it is what it is you just got to get out here figure it out so we start off thinking it wasn't going to rain by the time we leave you know but uh we started off at the spanish landing point which connects to Liberty Station. Yeah, it was in a previous video where I fished the backside of Liberty Station fishing the Major Craft Paraworm Grub. So we decided to walk down that way. And sure enough, we're slowly hooking up. I mean, what? He got the first one? And then, yeah, Ken caught a halibut. His first halibut of the year. So kudos <laughs> to him. Pat's on back. And uh, yeah, I mean, he caught a freaking mackerel. Mm -hmm. What the hell? I still haven't caught a mackerel yet. Damn, 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 Ken. Coming up strong. Three species. One morning, hour and a half of fishing. Well, what? All on the major craft grub. Uh, all, all on the major craft grub. That's crazy. So we figured out the bite. We figured out the spot. And when they started biting, they, the bite started lighting up. 
so did the rain. Yeah. <laughs> the bikes got heavy, the rain got heavy. So we have to rush all the way back here. I did not want to ruin my camera gear or risk ruining it just to get content. I'd rather be safe than sorry and have uh, equipment for future videos. I'm pretty sure you guys understand. But I, I, there's really nothing left to say besides that we are drenched. Uh, I'm under this tailgate, roof, door, trunk. What do you call that? Lift gate. Lift gate. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> but yeah, just uh, we just decided to come out before the storm and we came out after the storm. So we're like in a break time in the storm. I'm pretty sure it's going to be raining all week long. So getting content for you guys is going to be very, very tough. But if you guys want to see other kind of videos like a tackle review or something like that, comment below. Share your ideas. Maybe I consider it. Maybe I won't. It really depends on how I feel and if I have time. It don't matter. Bro. Yeah, it don't matter. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to sum it up right there. Everything I use in this video will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, the bell notification button. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care. As long as you're watching, you stuck this far into the video. Thank you very much. But as always, staying wet, efficient. Peace out, I guess.